All right, we're back. We finished stitching our monogram, as you can see there, and it's on the back. So now we need to pull the stem, and I'm looking at the instructions here too. Let's go back up. So we finished step three, so now we're at step four. And this is where you add the optional pocket if you want to, and we're going to add one here. So what we need to do is, it says to turn the hoop to the back side and fold the lining down so that the lining is showing. So that's what we're going to do right here. I'm going to lay it down and we've got it up here like this and it needs to look like this when you get finished. Uh, I'm going to make sure this is taped down. I'm going to tape this down too and smooth it. Another little piece over here. Like I said, I put a piece of tape right here on the corner and I hook it around the edge of the hoop and that way it just keeps it secure. And then when I flip it over, it won't fall down. And then I lay this down I'm up on the right side of the hoop again, the upper part. And you can see our monogram, our zipper, and our top in the bag. And I've got my um, batting here underneath here. So now we've got our pocket and on the instructions it says to have a um, 8 by 14 inch fabric but I've got 8 by 16 it's a better size so I folded it in half folded it in half and then I pressed it to give a nice crisp edge on it and as you can see this side's upside down so let's flip it over so our pocket will look nice it's a little bit different, the fabric is, because I didn't have enough fabric. Plus, I wanted you to be able to see it in the video. So, the instruction says to go up about a quarter of an inch past the zipper. Let me go read the instruction just to make sure. Yeah. Place the pocket piece with the fold one quarter inch above the top edge of the zipper. If you can see that on the computer. So, that's what I'm going to do right here. So I'm going to put it right here and smooth it out. Make sure my edges are lined up on the fold. There we go. This side we had surprises here. And lay this down. And you can tape it if you like, but I'm not going to. And then this is also where you put your straps on. So here's the placement lines for your straps actually you have to pull this back down a little bit to see it there's our placement lines we did this was the very first uh, round of stitching that we did so let's pull this back down a little bit and let's get our strap and this is kind of weird here can you bring the camera a little closer there's our placement lines and the way the um, instructions look I want you to put your strap in here next to the placement line and make sure that you don't twist it so pull it out and around and make sure it's not twisted and then she's got it to where you do it see there's the placement line but to the left of the placement lines on the picture doesn't seem right, but that's the way she's got it in the picture. So, we need to put this back up, but just keep in mind that's where our placement lines are. So, lay it there. Lay it there. And a little tip that I do, which will help you on the placement lines, since you can't see now where the placement lines are, just take a ruler and then get a pencil or a pen or a Christmas tree pen, even better, or candy cane pen, not Christmas tree. Close enough. And run it all the way up here. That way you can see past your fabric. See? Now we can see our placement lines again. I don't like guessing, and I know you don't. 
So I extend it a little bit and making sure that our little strap here isn't twisted. I used webbing. This is one inch webbing. And there's still a little tiny bit of adhesive spray on here, but I'm still going to put some tape on because we know how I like tape. And I try to make sure the tape isn't where it's going to be you know, stuck inside the fabric because that's a pain to pull out later. Okay, and now we'll take our next piece of fabric. Let's go on the instructions here real quick so I make sure I tell you correctly. We've got our strap on. We've got our pocket in here lying underneath the strap. We've got our strap in secure. So now we need to stitch our next uh, step, which is step four, and that'll secure the strap in. So let's go back to the embroidery machine. nothing's caught underneath the machine again and we've got our little tack downs that we're going to do for our straps As we can see, Rain's picture is wrong. So, uh, let's cut that. So let's move this strap back over. <laughs> what happened? Her picture's wrong. If you look at the picture. Oh, should I stop? That's no, okay. We need to know this. Okay. Let's move this over on the placement where it's supposed to be. We can move this down a little bit since we know where it is. Okay. That way we have more strap. Okay. This is step four. There's our next one. Now we've got our strap secure, as you can see. We've got our pocket lying here. Let's remove this from the hoop again. Okay. And we want to be very careful that we don't get our strap caught in the stitching. So you can fold it up. And I like to lie it down like this, press it down. And then what we need to do, so I just want to make sure I tell you correctly, I secured the strap ends. Oh, and this is where we unzip our zipper halfway. If we don't, we won't have a turning opening and you'll have a problem. Ask me how I knew. Everybody usually does this the first time on in the hoop, so hopefully this will spare you that. So halfway across. There's our pocket. There's our strap. Okay. Then let's fold this just to make sure. You can see it's tacked down now. I can take my tape off on the strap since they're stitched on. We'll do like a one of our sewing ladies does on the 
should just toss it over her shoulder. <laughs> okay, flatten it down. Now we'll take uh, fabric piece G. And we're going to center it over the design here. Then we're going to lay another piece of batting on top of that. Actually, the best way to do it is to just put them together. That's the way I do it. Like I said, this is actually a hospital blanket that I got at uh, St. Vincent de Paul for a dollar. I got three or four of those, and these are going to last me forever because they're huge. And they're nice and thin, but they've got a nice weight to them. They're a fabric uh, blanket. That's my batting. It and just lie it on top of here, center it. And if you want, you can pin it. Just make sure that the strap is out of the way because it's going to tack down right here. So you can actually just pull it up. That's the way I do it here. It's all out of harm's way here. And now we're going to go back. To the machine again here in just a second, making sure I've got everything just the way it's supposed to be. This will do the tack down stitch on the bottom. It's only about three or four inches long. This is step number five, right? I think so. <laughs> I zoned out about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. Okay. And I'm just making sure that I've got the center properly here. Okay. And no surprises for us. Let's see, that's number four. So, got everything lined up. I just want to make sure it's all centered. It's because I'm anal and always double check myself. Okay. That made you chill upon us. Three three one six four six six. Who's that? It's stop. Doctor. What? Oh. I don't know. It's okay. What doctor? I think it's the podiatrist. Oh. I didn't know. Sorry. Just have to make my soap. See if I got that the right way. I do. Okay. Now we gotta flip it over. Okay. We finished that round. And the tack down is on here. And our straps are out of the way. So, And now what's going to happen is when it stitches the next round, the last uh, stitching round, it's not going to stitch here. It'll be up here. So we can kind of shove our uh, strapping down here a little more to keep it out of harm's way. And just hold it over. Just make sure it's away from these ends up here. Okay. Pull this up. There we go. And if you want, you can pin this to keep it up here. And we're going to go to the back side of our hoop right now, too. And we're going to use our last piece of lining fabric. get the lining fabric. This is the last piece of lining fabric. My lining fabric is the same as the outside fabric. So I hope I don't confuse you. This is actually the last piece of lining fabric that goes on the bottom 
on the back of the hoop. So there's the up, upper part of the hoop, this is the back. And it looks just like this. And we want to make sure we've got it oriented the right way. Our little bar cats go in that direction, so we want to make sure that we're doing the same. And let's make sure the lining piece gets turned right side down, centered on the back side of the hoop. And that's what we're doing, or else you're going to have some trouble. And guess what we're going to get, Natalie? Huh? Guess what we're going to put on the back here? Ooh, more tape. You're tape happy. That's right. I have to live dangerously. Sorry I'm out of it. I fell asleep about a half hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> Are you wanting to make hipster bags, Natalie? No. <laughs> mm, not so much. If I need a hipster bag, I'll ask you. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I do things so scientific. I just showing you what can happen. There we this go. This is payback for all the gigs you've filmed, I guess. That's right. <laughs> okay. Now there's our top part with the monogram. There's our pocket. We'll lay this on top of the pocket. Not that it really matters, but we are. And then we're going to fold this over and flatten it as much as we can. Flat, flat. You know what we could do? What could we use to flatten it, Natalie? Iron. More tape. <laughs> <laughs> or not. Okay, we'll just flatten it down. Remember that time you did the Pee Wee Herman impression and you put tape all over your face? We'll not talk about that. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's all flattened out and we'll put some tape up here. Just to hold it down. What's real with that tape, right? Okay. You know it would make this Let's more... Let's go back to the machine. You know it would make this more entertaining. Put one piece across your... Tape your nose. That's only if we've got the blue painter's tape. Oh, okay. Okay. Ugh. This, boys and girls, is our last round. So, just this to... Like step 17. Just to, <laughs> just to go back and remind you what we're doing. We put the last piece of lining fabric face down against the back of the hoop over the entire hipster bag because it just fits. And we take the other piece of main fabric the last piece of main fabric, laid it there on top of the strapping and tucked it in. There's the last piece of batting on top and the pocket is underneath this mess. There's the pocket, it's underneath the strap. Okay. And we're putting this back on the machine and we're almost finished boys and girls. Ooh. This is the very last round. That's good because you have four minutes left. <laughs> well, we better hurry. <laughs> And you can kind of feel around here very carefully and use your stylus, don't use your fingers. Oops, and our machine unthreaded. I hate when that happens. I know, but actually we're gonna use the white thread so it doesn't matter. That's what's nice about a multi-needle machine. That's what I always say. Don't you agree? Okay, let's do white because white won't show up either and that's what we need to be having right now. Okay, here we go. Ooh, here we go. I'm just kind of filling around here to make sure there's no scratch in the bottom of the thing. Now if I need to, I'll pause it a little bit, like right now, just to make sure. Okay. Make sure everything's smooth. Okay. Off we go again. it again just because it's not fun to have surprises okay let's get it down here a little bit make sure everything's up here okay. yep everything's looking good looking good looking good okay let's keep stitching 
seeing all those damn cakes coming in. <laughs> there we go. Don't forget to use your stylus. Don't use your fingers. <laughs> I'm scaring my daughter. She was here when I stitched my finger last time. Make sure the straps underneath here. They're tucking in a little bit more. Okay. Like I said, we just don't you want any surprises. One minute, ten seconds. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. You can stop it right now while it's just...